So yeah, welcome back everybody to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's go, let's go. So yeah, last, last we left off in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we had come here to the, the Snowy Snowlands. Or what it's actually called. The Snowlands. Um, to quell the, the Final Lord, the Alabaster Icelands. There we go. <laughs> the Alabaster Icelands, to quell the Final Lord, uh, Avalug. Uh, the Lord of the Tundra, which, hold on, I'm pretty sure it's Rock. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Rock. I, 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 I was just like, I'll look this up before, just remember, because his Suean Avalug is different typing. Uh, p regular Avalug is pure ice, but... Yeah, his Suean is Rock Ice. Okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> Avalug, did you hug a lug? No, I did. Dude, we haven't even made it there yet, and apparently uh, the po Pokemon is huge, so like we can maybe hug, like, I don't know, its leg or something like that. <laughs> and that'll, that'll be it. But we, we, we haven't seen it yet. We haven't, we haven't yet to go uh, to quell it. So yeah. Um, so we came out here to the Alabaster Icelands um, to quell the Lord of the Tundra, Avalug. Um, but before we could do that, we had to retrieve Avalug's favorite food, which is apparently, like, ever, uh, never melting ice or whatever the heck, everlasting whatever ice. But it's on top of, like, this, like, giant ice thing that no regular person could climb except for one of the pro, I think it was pro warden. That's out in this area, that's a freaking maniac who apparently climbs it. Where is it? Oh, it's that thing out there, that little, like, uh, glacier. So to get to the top of the glacier, to get the ice that we needed, we had to chase down this, uh, one of the wardens of the, uh, Diamond Clan, Sabi, who sort of led us on a chase. Um, she's the warden of, uh, of a Pokemon known as Braviary, uh, who's seen Braviary, which is a normal, uh, sorry, psychic flying, I believe, something like that. Uh, so we chased her over out that way, and then we chased her over out this way to the, to the ruins over there. We made it to the top of the ruins, and she was like, okay, fight me. We fought her and Braviary, and we earned Braviary's respect, and, um, we, uh, we have Braviary now. So we can, uh, glide. <laughs> Just glide. I don't think we can actually ascend. Like, we get that initial ascension, but we don't actually fly higher. It's all, it's all gliding. Um, but yeah. So, now, when we unlock Braviary, we flew down from the top of the ruins, down over to the top of the ice thing here, got our ice, and now we are ready to quell Avalug, the Lord of the Tundra. So that's where we're going. Well, everlasting, never melting, whatever the heck, Roonies, it don't matter. Words. So. Just gonna loop the loop here. Uh, let me just check the, my missions real quick. Right, we had Moonlight stuff, catch Kirlia, which we didn't. We saw, seen Kirlia. Uh, this person wants us to complete the Pokedex entry for Bergmite. We'll do all that later, though. Um, just going into this, though, just a just a show here of the the team we're going in for. We got ourselves Tayo, tried and true, our lad, partner Pokemon, the Suin Decidueye. We got Tamashi, our free shiny, shiny lad. I really wish. They had done better with the flames here, though. Uh, you know, like, look at, looking at them, though, I'm just like, I really wish they'd done better with the flames. Like, you look at Pokemon Go flames for the Pokemon, and it's got, like, like this is just, like, flat color, and, like, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of not that great looking. But I saw, like, the Gen 9 stuff, and they have, like, you know, seems to be a little bit better in terms of Pokemon. But we got Kageyaku. Also trying true. Strong lad. We got Kyoku. Our lass. Wordier. Doing great. Fast last. Shio. Can't stay down, Shio. Has carried us through many of a fight. Tried her best. She gets she goes down, but she keeps getting back up. That's Shio. And then we have Moku. Our cleaver. Strong boy. High attack. Will kill you. And yeah, this is this is this is our team. This is our team going in going into this. Yeah, the flame is very, it's very tricky. But yeah, so the plan is... Now, unfortunately, I don't think... Well, you know what? Hold on. I, I, all right. 
because Moku Moku is rock bug, but rock uh, unfortunately is not resistant to rock. So I would have go in with Moku to try to fight him. Um, he's the only one that knows a fighting type move. Um, but I think instead we're gonna go with Shio once again. Um, because fighting type will be four times effective. But unfortunately, both of our fighting types are, are both of our, our Pokemon that have a fighting type move being Tayo, um, and then Moku, both have a, uh, a problem fight facing Avalug. Moku, oh, sorry, Tayo will be weak to ice, and Moku will be weak to rock. So we can't send either of those in. So next best thing is we're just gonna fight the rock typing of it with Shio, and Shio will be resistant to ice. And maybe Rock also, I believe. So, Shio, once again, gonna freaking carry us. Shio gonna freaking carry us here, once again, uh, I believe. Um, but yeah. Well, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's the warden of the Pearl, the Pearl Clan, the guy that's crazy and climbs the, the glaciers. And is that... Volo? Of course, hello, Volo. A wife is in Luna. What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. Yeah, what you doing here, Volo? Are you still hunting down the mysteries? I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps. Oh, a delivery. Dude, all the way out here? Okay. And he was more than willing to have a chat. About Avalug. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? About Avalug? <laughs> Not really. Gossip? Nah. Oh, have some mercy. Can't you see I'm dying to tell you what I've learned? <laughs> well, I'll tell you anyway. Well, um, well, open your ears, goddamn you. So Avalug, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. I think this is the best we gave him. I can't quite remember. I know, we're, we're going to quell him right now. Oh, well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Well, that sounds like, uh, whew, <laughs> that sounds like a lot, but, you know, I, d I dealt with s exploding Voltorb with, uh, electrodes, so, you know, it'll be fine. And uh, molten magma with our canines, so, you know, it's okay. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? Once again, magma? Magma! Molten fire. Molten rock. And explosions. I think I can hand some ice. I, I think I can hand the ice. The Arcanine, for me, the Arcanine fight was the harder. The Voltorb one, uh, it took me a second to, fi to, to, you know, just figure out, you know, like, I kept on trying to look at, keep my eyes on Electrode, and then I just figured out, you know, just keep running and keep an eye on where my feet are, and that was way better, and as soon as I figured that out, it was easy. Just took me a second to get into it, and then it was easy peasy. Arcanine, he, like, cuts off the platform in the middle into this tiny-ass little platform, and then he goes across the way and you can't even hit him with the stuff and you're like dodging in like just like a little like sliver of land so the arcane one is much worse what's more apparently the avalug of old can be up to a hundred feet tall really okay doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Yeah, it kind of does, but I mean, you guys feed him, right? As a, as a warden, how big is this Avalug? Like, they said he was big, but how fucking big? Oh, you're all right. You just have to eat some sword caps and then give your training your all. <laughs> I don't have the time. Nothing better for building muscle than that. 
Onward now to the arena. Luna, I think you're going to die. This might be a problem. Um, yes, well, I, I, I didn't want to see that, aval uh, that Avalog, but uh, perhaps not at the cost of my life. Good luck, Luna. <laughs> you're dead. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. All right, Volo, thanks for wishing me luck, apparently. Okay. All right, sir, don't mind me. Run. <laughs> All right. Chio. We rely upon you once again. Apparently, this boy be big. All right? But though you are small, as am I, together, we are mighty. Face many trials. Together, we face many trials. And this is but one more of them. Let's do this. All right. She is ready. Let's go. So are you ready to quell Avalug as you wished? In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like this line. You walk both sides. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that internal ice. Okay, that's what it was called, eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. Ah! Bomb making! <laughs> Behold! And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging abilities. Unrivaled, I tell you. Don't worry, sir. We are well practiced in the art of dodge roll. All right, I'm going. I'm going. Oh my goodness gracious. So snowy. Holy fuck. Oh my God, it is fucking huge. <laughs> Holy shit. God save me. Okay, Shio, okay, okay, okay. Listen, I thought big, but we didn't that is big big. Oh my god. Oh Christ Lord in heaven. Where oh uh okay, I got this. Are we just gonna stay up here? We can't even go to the next side of the thing? Okay. Um, okay, bomb time. Ah! Okay, this is a problem. I, I see now. I see now. Okay, let's not... Let's not get distracted. Oh my fuck! Okay. <laughs> He's launching missiles! Okay, okay. New plan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. S send Pokemon to do battle. Oh, okay, shit. Shoot, go! Shoot, shoot! Okay, sh she was there. Where's Shio? I can't see Shio! <laughs> okay, Shio. 
No, it's no problem. It's no problem at all. Where are you, Shio? I can't. Shio, where are you? She's in there. Oh, she's beside me. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, that did nothing to it. Okay, she stay alive. Double edge. Okay, okay, we're okay. Avalog was damaged by recoil. Okay, you can take it out with Aqua Jet Shio. You got this. Hold on a moment. Just gonna heal. Okay, no more bombs. Only dodge. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're okay. Oh god. Ah, oh, shit. That was our last hit. Okay. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Avalok's barrage of attacks is ongoing. No problem. I got it. Yes, let's continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep the progress. Let's go. Did we get enough far enough to keep our progress in any capacity? No, we didn't. We just by the start. It's okay. This is fine. We under I understand now. Oh fucking Christ. Okay, I got I gotta wait for the second when it, we dodge in there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, you, you got this. I say as I run a little bit safer distance back. Agile style aqua dead shield, you got this. Critical hit, well done, Shio. Okay, strong style aqua tail. Okay, okay. And just the aqua jet again, and you're good, Shio, you're good. I think that still consumed my healing item when I used that. Oh well. This is fine. Just regular potion on top of this. Okay, we're ready. Round two.
Okay, launching time, launching the missiles. Okay, we gotta wait, wait for our moment. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. Lasers, lasers. It's time. Once again, shield. Same, same, the second verse, same as the first. Just strong style aqua judge and just make sure we do end up finishing it. Bombs go. Okay, he's backing up. Alright, hold on. Let's <laughs> get a potion on you. All right, he might be throwing something else. He backed up. This is this is spooky. Okay, no, same thing, same thing. We're okay. Okay, we're all right. Here comes the laser time. Our time is night. All right, Shio, well, once again. We might run out of uh, power points, in which case I think we have an ether that we could use. Okay, I think we can get we can get usually just a regular aqua jet with this. Okay. Bombs go. Okay. Healing, healing. All right, all right, all right. What the? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, we're down to the half, past the halfway. All right, nope, still same thing, same still thing, okay. Oh no, oh no. Okay, with, with the icicles on top of it. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right, it's all right. Oh shit, a double wave. Oh crap. Okay, well, that wasn't quite the role that I wanted. Also, holy lag, Batman. Oh my god, they're speedy! Oh my fucking Christ. Oh god. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy shit, those things are fast. <sighs> oh lord. Okay, dude, Avalon will kill us, man. <laughs> Yes, continue battle. Yes, keep the previous progress.
Okay, I don't know if it's reached its second phase yet. Oh, shit. Ah, crap. It's final form. It got caught by the freaking just edge of that one. Oh, no. Okay, there is, this is... Okay, okay. Okay, no, there's still the spikes that remain behind. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, shit, I did that unfortunate. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, we just can't. Oh, fuck. Okay, we gotta dodge the laser, but not go into the ice, the ice things that are left behind. Go, Shio. All right. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. At least our uh, our PowerPoints got reset here. <sighs> the double edge might take it out by on its own. Yep, there it is. Do 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 do. Okay, this is gonna be a bit rough. We've become damaged. <laughs> so now we at least know some things, though. Okay, at least there wasn't whatever that double-double wave was. Fuck. They come too fast after each other for me to recover from my roll! Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Strong style. Okay, not quite down, so we can just regular aqua jet this. One more round, one more round. Oh my god, I don't know if we'll survive. Oh my god, I don't know if we'll survive. Fucking icicle missiles. Okay, and then this thing. Okay, we don't have to worry because it, it doesn't even reach us. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, shit, okay. I think we just have to keep running. Shit. I knew I had probably only one last hit left in me. I think we just run. I mean, we just run. And But then we... The time we have a chance to dodge, okay. Okay, one, 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 one of the one bar left. Okay. We might have to fight it two more times still. 
It's just the damn icicle missiles that we're having problems with. God, a bit late start with those icicles. Yeah, we just we don't I have to keep running. I just gotta keep running. I don't know uh, maybe I go back or something like that, I don't know. Where's this sand laser on the right side? Left side, right side, okay here we go. Sell Aqua Jet. Strong style Aqua Tail. And then just to make sure here, we'll go strong style Aqua Jet. We do one more. I know we could toss some bombs at it from a distance, but we'll do one more just to be safe. Okay, so I think with these missiles, run, run, run. Oh shit, no, no, running backwards, just straight back doesn't work. We don't have time to, okay, yeah, we keep getting hit by those. We almost had that though. All right, Shio, the last fight. Finish, finish this off, Shio. Okay, we did it. We did it. I said that the icicle missiles were the worst. I have to say, I love the way that Avalug, like, mouth opens up. Like, the way that it... <laughs> The whatever the side things on his head are. There he is. Frenzy quelled. Nicely done, Chio. Nicely done. Good job, good job, thank you. The ice missiles were the hardest. You received the icicle plea from Avalug. Thank you, my lord. And there he goes, I guess. Eric, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But, 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 C 
seen in my Avalug quell than by such a slight child. Really, so weak looking. We will be our child, though. We are a child. A child that fell from the very sky. Is this Luna? Is this Luna girl some kind of monster in disguise? Did you see her moves out there? She kept getting hit by ice, but she kept standing back up. It was fucking madness. She's she's fucking crazy. She's no monster. Thanks, Irida. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Hey guys. <laughs> Medical aid. Please. <laughs> that was that was a tough one. That was a tough one. There was ice shards on the ground. I think there's still ice embedded in my flesh. <laughs> I may have rolled through some ice shards there for a hot second. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. Luna. Garrett cares for the Pro Clan with all his heart, and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. Okay. <laughs> so he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. And that what could cause problems for the pro plan? I see. But that will change. That would ring a lot truer coming from him. Irda, what the fuck do you mean that'll change? <laughs> I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Luna has much to teach us. It's because I'm from the future. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. Yeah, so long as people and Pokemon together, we can do anything. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. Damn. Seems you've already changed, Erda. I knew you could pull that off, Luna. Oh, did I accidentally click A? Okay, whatever. That was what you said. And Sabby, the little lass. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So that t space time rift's going to start uh, closing up now, or what? Space time rift closing? <laughs> There's a little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem, perhaps, a little smaller somehow? Maybe. Oh, let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Luna. Cause god damn it, I don't think any of us are brave enough to tackle that shit. I was watching from a distance and like I was like, holy shit, she's crazy. She rolled through ice. <laughs> she rolled through ice spikes. Did you see the way he launched the things at her? She took like four or five icicles to the face. It was fucking ridiculous. It was it was it was and none of us could do that. I mean, God help us. You know, it's all on Luna. Have a have have a fully grown adult do that, Gyrick, who's apparently physically trained and fit. No, he could not do it. Mm -mm. Impossible. No one can do this but Luna. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at our side. Oh, I guess. Rely on me, I guess. You know something, Yerda. We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh. 
two pearl clan folk aren't all that all bad in my book. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> here to six here. Holy shit. <laughs> Look who's finally seen reason. You, you say that as if I feel like Irida has been the more doubtful of the two sides, but I guess Adamin has been in a bit like, you know, aloof maybe to them and maybe like a little bit, you know, like picks on Irida a lot. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old command Commander Kamado Com a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Woo! All right, we got a report to Commander Kamado. All right, Sabi. Seeing your take on Avalok was intense, even from up in the sky where I was watching. Ah, that shit's fucking crazy, man. I had to dodge my skulls up there, and you were dodging all of them all the time. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we pay grim old commander Kamado a visit and see if we'll only crack a smile. Okay, yeah. What about you? What about that, you weirdo? What are you going to do now that all the nobles have been quelled, Luna? Well, I still have my mission to seek out all Pokemon, so that. And then, you know, I don't know, return to my time slash world, whatever the canon is. You quelled Avalog. I mean, I yet know for sure if it was right or not to do so, but it was certainly a fine battle. All right. Well, we do know from the poems that this sounds like this happened before, that they were struck by lightning. All right, let's see what we have to do to complete Bergmite's entry while we roll out here, because we need to do that for one of the side missions, and then we'll go back to Lord Kamado. All right, here's some Bergmite. Also, hold on. Shio! Once again, nicely done! I think third- third- third freaking noble fight. Like, of the nobles that we fought, the only one that Shio didn't face was the, the Lady of the Ridge. So, nicely done, Shio. Oh, and- and Volt- and Electrode. The two of them. But yeah, she was been she was she was been you know scaring us. <laughs> All right, Bergmite. Let's see. Number caught. Number of light system caught. Number defeated. Times you've seen it use ice shard. Times you've given it food. Number you've evolved. All right. How does Bergmite evolve into Suyin? Have a look. Oh, now they just straight, straight both evolve a level 37. Oh, lordy. Okay, okay. We could probably l evolve one. We'll probably do it with a... Uh, bring. We'll bring out our, our Bergmite that we have. Let's catch one, though. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. Surprise! Ah, damn it. Okay, we fighting now. Um, okay. Okay, let's use... Agile Style X Scissor. Hopefully that won't take it out. Okay, didn't take it out. All right. Second try here with the great ball. There you go. Boom shakalaka. Uh, oh, you know what? We could have probably flown down from up top here. Gotta remember, we have flying now.
I guess we could easily just as easily have teleport teleport to camp here. So I need to I want to get out the bergmite. Um, and then we'll evolve the last bergmite I caught. There's our camp. We actually didn't really need to fly with this, but bird from the sky, bird from the sky. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, this there's a this person has a request. Okay, what's your request? Oh, it's balloon race. Uh, I tell you, there's no better way to stave off the cold than to run around and burst balloons. I run the balloon race in these parts. Would you care to have a go? You need to burst as many adorable balloons as possible riding a Pokemon. It's a blast, really. If you manage to burst, say, 30 balloons. Well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here at any time, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skills in the balloon race. Okay. Ride a Pokemon and smash the balloons. Ride, 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 and burst them all. You managed to burst, say, 30. Well, I'd say then, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about a kid? Do you want to play? I'll give it a try. Uh, do you want to end your run? Uh, no. <gasps> okay, no, 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 did not want to do that. Did not want to let go. I was looking, looking to dash instead. Oh my god, we're gonna switch to uh, Braviary in Leap here. We're not in the right, right height for it. Okay, here we go. Not too far. God, no. <laughs> Going to run. This is... This is tough. Where's the rest of the fucking balloons? Oh, right this way. Oh, I can... I can dash on this one. That's a tough one. We got 27. <laughs> I think we can do a little bit better. We'll try one more time. <sighs> I'll take the Elder Ball. The Elder Ball is nice. All right, one more time. This one, the, the toughest of all balloon races. Stop changing the angle, man. All 
Uh, I can't I can't control This is so hard to control dude Drop too far. Fuck it, abandon all the other balloons. We're just going straight for it. We got 30. Well, okay. <laughs> we just go past all the single flying ones. Welcome back. You burst 33 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all. For someone so skilled, I'll offer this as a reward. Two sticky clops. <laughs> okay, not worth it, but whatever. The Ultra Ball was a better reward. What do you know, Mario? You beat my target of bursting at least 30 balloons. Well done, you. All right. Oh, there we go. We got three gold nuggets. Okay. By the way, have you had a go at the target practice you can do at the practice field just outside your beloved village? That's another intense experience I show you. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's put some of this stuff away. And then maybe do a little bit of crafting. Okay, hold on. We can sell. The uh, star pieces and the gold nuggets. Oh, hey, Rena. Okay, hey, welcome, welcome. Capturing all the Pokemon. Well, the ones that we see, yes. Uh, all right, yeah, down here. Here we go. Boom shaka laka. We rolling the monies. All right, and then craft. Let's see. Let's make some more potions. Um, uh, okay. Make a bunch of those. And then let's make Then we'll make... Shoot, okay, well, let's make three more. And then we'll make 20 super potions. And then... Okay, we don't have a lot of medicinal leak. So three potions. All right. Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's get out our Bergmite. Um, how's our team looking so far in terms of levels? All right. Let's see my Pokemon. All right, we caught this unknown. Let's move this over to the unknown pasture that we have here. There we go. Oh, shoot, I wanted to... <laughs> whoops, exited out of that one too soon. Let's... Shield, good job. Take a rest for a hot second. Take a rest for a hot second. 
And then let's bring out this bergmite. You know, I get well, you catch this other one we caught. I think we had another bergmite, right? We caught bergmite before. Yeah, we did. It, oh, there it is. It's up there. I see it. All right. Boom luck, And then we'll level it. Um, let's see what moves it knows. Said specifically... See, it used Ice Shard a bunch. Okay, so yeah, so we do have that. So we'll, we'll fight a little bit with it, and then hopefully while we're fighting, it will level. Um... Or at least we get to see it use Ice Shard a bunch. Ah, uh, no, this this little guy is definitely not going to level that fast. If it's a 37, there ain't no way. Um... Okay, here we go. There were times you've given it food, but... Insufficient data on preferred foods. Hmm. Alright, let's two birds with one stone this. Let's... Whoopsies, did not mean to get the bird out. Let's rest here real quick, and then we'll go fight other Bergmite with our Bergmite. And then just, like, use Ice Shard on them, so we don't we use a lot of our sh Ice Shards, and then we also defeat the enemy Bergmites. Here we go. Holy shit. All right, well, never mind. We'll just fight bird mites. <laughs> uh, all right, Temishi. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. All right, let's flame wheel this. Feed a bunch of them. To defeat a fair amount of them. We could always, we have like the experience, like the little experience, um, candies as well. That we could give to Bergmite. Oof, man.
All right, let's catch two more, defeat one more, and then we'll have our Bergmite fight a couple more to get some, um, to get some of the Ice Shard stuff, because they're not using the Ice Shard against us, so let's find one more Bergmite to defeat. I don't know if there'll be any more passed out past this way. Uh, there's like mad choke out here, but like I don't know if I see any bergmites. here in this arena? No, I don't think so. Alright. Maybe some of the Bergmite down here respawned. Seems to be like, there's there's gotta be a Bergmite anymore, but I just didn't want to, want to fight one more. Alright, fuck it. Oops. a man champ. I think there's got to be some out here by the glaciers, right? There's some snow, right? Okay, I yeah, hear some bergmite. I mean to ride on Braviary here. <sighs> okay, let's back out here. Let's go back to camp and heal up real quick. And I don't know if there's any, like, there's no, like, grass types in, like, the area that I don't think Bergmite could take out with ice. Um, I'm not actually sure what ice is good against, hold on. I think it's good against ground as well. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, dragon, flying, grass ground. Okay, well, there is the, um, like, there's Gligar. And then there's the little braviaries that are probably up by the ruins. Let's just climb up this way and see what we encounter. Okay, there's Gligar. Okay, let's use Bergmite and see if this will be good. Holy shit, it's 49. Alright, maybe this is too too much for Bergmite, but we'll give it a go. Alright. Okay. I'm sorry, Bergmite. No, we'll just run. We'll, we'll just run. All right, well, that was another time we saw you use Ice Shard. But apparently those particular Gligg are too strong. Too strong for our Bergmite. Enjoying the Pokemon still? Ye. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like this, uh, I like this Pokemon game. And it does remind me a lot of uh, Breath of the Wild, and I had a lot of fun with Breath of the Wild, too, so...
All right, let's go this way, and because this is where the Ralts were. Or it was a little bit further past this way. Oh, hey, here's some braviery. Heck yeah. Okay, maybe this will help. How strong are these guys? All right, 51. Holy fuck. Okay, dude, too strong, too strong. Okay, hold on. Let's teleport back to camp. That'd be a long walk back. Oh, we can't do that while we're being targeted. All right. Oops. Are we gonna find something, uh, something weaker for our freaking Bergmite to fight? Let's go to the southern camp. Where things are likely to be less... All of that. 